Oh, I don't have any crack money. I don't have any crack money. The dealer, he'll show up to my house with an Uzi and start busting cabs in me. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. What am I do? I'm 23 years old. I have minimal good looks. Some dank cap. And I have a phone. What do I do? I vlog. Hey, you, what's up, guys? It's Mr. Ken Happy Face here. Black again with another vlog. Super vlog. Today, we're gonna be going to some haunted road where you're gonna be doing some crazy shit. You know, you wouldn't believe the stuff we're doing here. It's gonna be so awesome. Man, you can't even believe it. You're not even on my level. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to this haunted road. We're gonna do some crazy stuff. I'm out here in my backyard. Gonna do some crazy stuff. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the road. Boo! Oh, okay guys, we're out on the street. It looks super dank, you know, super lit. We got some good, we got some good ass road. It's, it's empty. Hey, don't, don't, uh. What car? A car. Oh, Jesus, that was so fucking scary. We got a car here. Oh, no, we're gonna die. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, a ghost, you can barely stay on the camera. Run! Okay, guys, we got him. We got him. Oh, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Right, we gotta run. Get me back. Be back in the house. Oh. Dear Lord, guys, that was so insane. I couldn't believe that that actually happened. Dear Lord, I am going to shit my pants tonight. Fuck, that was awesome. We got to see a ghost. We got to see... Scary cars and empty road, and of course it was all in the daytime, so you guys all saw that, right? That was so dank. We got some good footage today. Oh my god. Alright guys, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, post notifications, share this with a couple of your friends, enter in, bound down below for free gift card giveaway. We got some dank stuff. $25 Amazon gift card. $25! $25! You can have it all. Yeah! All right, guys, I'll be back in about an hour doing another banger vlog. And today, also, check out my SoundCloud. I got some dank music. Oh. Dear Lord, I hope that's enough money for the crack dealer. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm going to be slain. Hey, guys, so I actually wanted to let you guys know that um, this is a weird concept for a video. So I, I'm gonna exp I'm just, I, I have to explain the story. To, to you guys about this. So, I was on Discord, you know, talking with my friends. Told I told one of my friends, and, you know, referred to him as Jim, um, about the video that I was doing. I told him, hey, I'm gonna make a rant. You wanna join in? And I, I didn't mean, like, join in as in, oh, hey, we're gonna record a Discord call or something. I meant, like, join in, record audio. But, he... He brought up the idea, hey, we should do a Discord call. And I immediately thought, this is a good concept for a video. We can just rail on the guy live, no scripts. And I, I had a script planned. I was writing the script. It was hardly done, but I'm glad that he did this with me because we got the video out faster now. So, yeah. You guys you guys are in for a bit of a treat. We're just going to rail on this guy and see. Uh, I don't know. All right, guys. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's uh, it's me, Mr. Canapface, back again, and this time we actually have a, another person on this YouTube video. Uh, uh, how do you want to be called, sir? Uh, just call me uh, just call me Gem, G E M. All right, we got Gem here. Um, so we're gonna be talking about this YouTuber that I find to be some of the like the biggest douchebag on YouTube. All right, so um, he goes and he no goes, doubt. No doubt, the worst YouTuber 
on the platform. Um, I know that could be that could be yeah, any YouTuber nowadays, but I think I found the worst one. This, he he's he goes by the name of Mikey Mavs. I don't know how to pronounce that. Mikey Mavs. Mavs. He 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 his name his his name is a it's a pretty good uh, indicator of what's gonna happen. Um, so I've just been scrolling through this guy's videos. And... So what's gonna happen? What? Oh, great! That's just great. Um, so, um, this, this, this guy, man, I'm telling you, okay, this guy right here, been losing views ever since, ever since, I swear to God, ever since he starred with McJuggernuggets in one of his videos, okay, which was clearly scripted, yeah. clearly scripted, 100% scripted, there's, there's no actual physical proof and or evidence that that is completely real, there's no, there's nothing to interpret that, yeah, ever since he starred in that, right, mm-hmm, Downhill, absolutely downhill. Um, okay, I know. I, I um, think I think he went downhill by the fact that he's repeated every single goddamn video he's ever made. If you take a look <laughs> at the, the Phantom Truck oh, videos, like, the Clinton Road videos, he even did like an entire. No joke. He did no like joke. An, he did like an entire thing about his friend DK who got apparently possessed. He did like. And then lost. Didn't he get lost at some point too? Yeah. And then he randomly appeared in one of the videos. Yeah, and it was like he did like ten, like to fourteen videos on him, and that just man, this guy. Once something happens, he milks every little bit out of it, and that's just. This is one of the the worst YouTube strategies too. I don't yeah. find repeating videos to be great. In fact, like. Repeating YouTube videos is some of the worst content that anyone, any one YouTuber can make. It's um, it's like this other guy, NNA Produ Productions. I found him out today. I mean, oh my god, you know, yeah, NNA. I'm, I'm... <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm, I just gotta say, okay, I just, I just found something. Are you on his channel right now, by chance? Yes, I am on his channel. Okay. So if you scroll down to his videos that he uploaded around nine months ago. You see a video, you see a video that's up, and it says update since the crash, right? Um, mm -hmm. So, if you scroll back up to a video about seven months ago, it has the exact same picture next to two cars saying, We got in a car crash, hurt my neck, star, not clickbait, star. It is the exact same picture from two months ago. Oh okay? my god. If you go back up to one of his videos, it says arrested dot 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 okay and then there's another video almost no there's another video two videos up saying not clickbait dot 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 with him shrugging his head and putting his hand on his head like something's actually freaking important right yeah, yeah. so now, uh let's see logan paul my opinion oh, jesus christ he brought logan paul into this yeah. um it's like um it's like youtube vultures once uh once a YouTuber gets dead, the all these other channels just rot, just go over to the body and start picking at it, see how many views they can get. I mean, that's like, I have nothing against like the, you know, the, the content cop vultures again. Like, there's this one guy, Wild Spartans. He he definitely is a content cop vulture, but he at least has other content besides just content cop vulturing. Agreed. Agreed. So, but I mean, I found, a, I found a video of his called "Kid Breaks His Neck at the Trampoline Park." Three exclamation points. Three. Okay, trampoline park injury slash fail exclamation point. Forty-four thousand views was uploaded almost seven months ago. I, no, four months. Ago. I oh, I still cannot believe the amount of like three a.m. challenges this guy still has. Who does three a.m. challenges anymore? Those are you know what. You know who Mikey Mamps really is? He's the cliche, like, 15-year-old kid you meet on comedy night. Dude, he's a- I have this little- I had this little sketch plan for this, like, it was gonna be a YouTuber maker, you basically take the douchiness of Logan Paul and Jake Paul combined, you take the clickbait of every other single YouTuber, you take, I don't know, the merch advertising, merch pushing of every single other vlogger, and you got him. He's every <laughs> single average YouTuber, but he repeats videos, and that's just why I hate him. Oh, and did I also mention he's somehow a rapper? They're, they're oh my just... god, 
there's this one mu official music video that he has called it's it's literally titled Mamps Rip XXX Tentacion official music video. It it was uploaded one month ago. I don't I to this day and you're gonna call me a you're, I don't care what you call me. I still don't know how to pronounce his last name, and I still don't know how to pronounce. Uh, is it is it Mans or is it I can't is it Mans? I, I don't, don't even know. That's I got caught up on that too. It's either Mikey Mans or Mikey Mans. I it's hard to pronounce. That's, why why does he have a video called GoPro mannequin footage? Goes through phantom truck. Um. <laughs> There was this one video he uploaded a month of a month ago, or it was um playing Charlie Charlie Challenge at abandoned something warehouse. I don't know, but who plays the char who plays the Charlie Charlie Challenge anymore? That do not play Slenderman game at three a.m. He visited me. <laughs> <laughs> little oh, wait, no. wait 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 wait. Little pump <laughs> says that he wants to smash my mom. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god, this oh, guy. Uh, this guy, seriously. And of course, he has to make videos over like 15 or over 12 minutes long to get YouTube money. Because yeah. that's how YouTube works nowadays. Uh, playing two months ago, playing Fortnite in a Walmart toilet paper fort. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, apparently. I. What? Okay. I you know, okay, the closest YouTuber that I can compare this guy with is behind the meme. Oh, God. Somebody, somebody has made, has, somebody has made a dedicated channel to this, to behind the meme, called Behind the Meme Condensed. And all of the videos are like 20 to 30 seconds long, because everything else in behind the memes videos are 100% filler content. Yeah. I, I, I are 99% filler content. Only like, maybe... Two or three percent of the actual video is to do with the, is to be related with the meme, because mm -hmm. everything else everything else is filler because you have to get YouTube money, right? Uh, yeah. Almost all of these videos are over twelve minutes long, or um, most of them are eighteen minutes long, or some of them, a majority of them are eighteen minutes long, and of course those are the ones, those are the ones that get more views. Yeah, because they have to be. Because they have to be long, and because everything in, in the YouTube world has to be, it, it literally, for your channel to succeed on YouTube anymore, it almost 100% has to be clickbait. Yeah. Which is all the people is doing. I mean, there are the few- And, and not, 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 not to forget, not to forget, also only mentioning, and almost all the time mentioning, not clickbait in the title. Yeah, yeah. Always no, there, there's two different types of clickbaits in my opinion, or in my mind. There's the all caps plus the parentheses, and you can't forget the forget the exclamation points. And then there's the and then there's the all lowercase, you know, serious titles. And then afterwards, like after the at the end of the title, it's dot dot dot. I'm not even joking. Like I'm looking at his channel right now. Most of it says um, dot dot dot, you know, or dot 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 or whatever, right? Yeah. It's like, and almost all of them, or some of them, have parentheses. Mm -hmm. As in, it's meant to be, it's meant to express something, but it doesn't express anything. Because, yeah. no, like, because, sorry. It, 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 no, I, I completely understand. I'm just, there is no content here. It is all filler to get money. Yeah. And all of, and all of, look, on, if you look at the top of his, at the top of his YouTube, you can see something at the very left saying Matt Sowards. I don't even know who that is. I bet it's a sponsor. I 100% guarantee it's a sponsor. And on the very right, it says merch soon. Like they're like people are watching his videos to get more merch. It's it's complete. It's 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 uh, it's so bad. I just I can't. I mean, look, I have an opinion on merch. Basically, I I'm okay with merch on certain levels. Like people like if Markiplier. He he doesn't advertise his merch that often. When when he does, it's usually in like a clever way, and that's actually that's actually the correct way to market merch, in my opinion. You shouldn't push it on your fans. You should at least try to make it make. If you're gonna make an advertisement video for the merch, you should at least try to make it fun or at least enjoyable. 
but Mikey Mance, he he doesn't know how to do that because in every like in the videos that I've seen before, all he literally does in the beginning of the video is like, "Hey guys, smash that like button and you for free gift card giveaway, merch coming soon." Oh no, merch is here. I got some hoodies. I got a fidget spinner. We got it. Let's go. Boopy. Let's you know, like ninety. You know, like ninety percent of the people who say they're gonna do giveaways never do giveaways, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's why I hate giveaways on this on this platform. The fact is also, fake giveaways. Oh my are god! A okay. I found, I found, I found. Okay, I looked up Matt Sowards. Okay, All he's right. basically the exact same Mikey. He's like Mikey Mance, but he's a gaming channel. If you oh. go, if you go, Matt Sowards, uh, right now. You see on the very left, he's got uh, some guy. He's got a Fortnite player um, with how to a machine get gun. How to and get at the very right, I swear, at the very right, it literally has the exact same template. And it says merch available with the exact same thing. Look it up right freaking now. I, you gotta show this in the oh video. Oh, God. So I can see that. You have to. You see it, right? So you, they are the exact so, same template. I don't I don't think this channel has anything to do with Mikey Mance in general, but what I think happened is Mikey just Did he steal Matt Swords? Yeah. Yeah, did he, did he steal Matt Swords? He straight up stole Matt Swords banner. <laughs> I don't even know who Matt Swords is. And he what it's worse is he copied he just plastered everything else but that bottom left. And that <laughs> he that is just oh my worst. gosh but it's the exact same i just noticed the follow me on instagram and everything else is the exact same as matt swords is it is this is this is did insane he, i've never actually, I did he never actually this. did he steal the template and forgot to remove matt swords name if is that, that what happened if that's so then i swear to god mikey mance you are you are just the worst douchebag on YouTube, all right? If you're, if you're willing to steal, if you're willing to steal uh, uh, a stupid, you know, banner for something so minuscule and not even like paste over or censor out the name of the person who actually made it, then what do you even have to? See, you know, now, I don't at know. least at least Matt Sowards has a thing saying now partnered. With tree Sp or with Teespring, my apologies. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who they are, but I'm sure that they're a sponsor, just they're, like they're, free Teespring. I Teespring. Just I'm like War Robots okay, and wait, everything wait. else. Hold on. Teespring, I'm assuming, is just like a, a t-shirt, uh, t-shirt thing. It's just yeah. Like, let me look up real quick. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Teespring is literally just t-shirts and. All that. Yeah, no, that's that's actually a cool company, Teespring. Teespring is a platform for custom merchandise. Yeah, I mean, oh. and I mean, I I have nothing against Matt Sowards right now because he's like every single like, fucking gamer. This guy is, but, but I'm fairly sure Matt Sowards, man. If if you somehow get a hold of this, or or if one of uh, Kent Happy Faces fans uh, messages this video to that to this guy, man, yeah, Matt yeah. Sowards, Mikey Mance is stealing stuff. I mean, and if he isn't, you really... should, if he isn't, you should probably at least, you know, take a bit of credit on this um, design, or at least change your designs up a bit. No, we... no, he should, Matt Sword should, Mikey Mamp should. Yeah, he yeah. He stole it. Yeah, he stole he, the I mean, I mean, who are, you honestly, who are you honestly gonna believe? Are you gonna believe the guy that has 121,000 subscribers, or are you gonna have, or are you gonna believe the guy that has 1.2 million? Because obviously... I mean, he's obviously, he's, he's stealing content, or yeah. stealing some other type of merchandise to another person. Yes. And, it's so bad, it's terrible. Okay, and also, another point I want to get on about Mikey Mance is, he's somehow some of the worst trendiness, like, trendy YouTuber ever. Whenever a trend happens, or comes, he jumps on it like a lion does a gazelle, and he makes a crap ton of videos about it. I remember when the the floor lava challenge happened. God, I hate that challenge. And he he made a he made like so many videos on it, and it just sucked. He he couldn't deviate from other any other YouTube video, and that just 
that made me very, very either, well, mad. Just mad in general. Ugh. I like how when you watch the first, one of the first, uh, videos that pops up when you look up Mikey Mance, it's his latest from Mikey Mance, and then, uh, the third video down, it's Mikey Mance intro music, 10 hours. And then, of course, the second one is, uh, paying the ultimate price from McJugger Nuggets. Because McJugger Nuggets is, well, we won't get into there. I mean, I personally think he has okay content. His series are really nice to watch. And of course, the third video down says male Viagra prank on my best friend, Mikey Mamps. And it's him gotta... Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you look at that, please? That's not even, that's not even his channel. That's another channel called Mini Bags. His, no. It's not even his channel. Hang on. I'm going to check out this Money Bags. The Money Bags channel is his friend. Oh my god. Oh my god. So... Money Bags is actually DK. So <laughs> they're all connected. Wait, it's DK's money bags? Yeah, DK is money bags. Dear Lord. Okay, DK The if worst thing DK, if you somehow watch this, change your channel name. It's it it re doesn't reflect the good side of you. These people Oh, and the worst all worst of all, I hate this guy's, you know, flexing videos. He he does a good number of those. I mean, you you can't you can never forget uh, this one if I can find it. Oh yeah. Um. Wait. No. By the way, Matt Swords, I take back all negative input on you. I think you're just getting stolen. Yeah, and I mean, personally, Matt Swords, I mean, you're just like every other typical gamer, and that's something that that's something that I I I actually like gamers on YouTube, but. I mean, play play some different games, cause all I can see now is like battle royale stuff. Well, that's that's every that's almost every uh, YouTuber nowadays is battle royale, um, cause cause a lot of people a lot of people just don't have content to put to produce because it's it's a complete. Because if you don't do the stuff that other people are doing, you're not going to get paid. Yeah, and if you don't clickbait exactly. the hell out of it, you're not going to get paid. Exactly, and that's why Mikey Mamps is doing everything on YouTube. Yeah, I bet you, I bet you, if he became a gaming YouTuber, his his prices would or his his money would skyrocket, yeah. almost guarantee. Um, I just figured out he has a second channel. It's called Mikey Mamps Two. And that's and that's two spelled with two O's, and the only video that he has is a rap video, or at least his music video. And how I can tell that this is obviously a very bad channel is that the banner of his channel is literally just his BMW. I also just just to know I I hate YouTubers that flex. Flexing YouTubers are obviously some of the worst YouTubers on the platform. They, you know, he, he, he is like the space balls of YouTube channels. Yeah. Well, like, explain that. Explain that. Okay. Okay. Like, space balls was a great movie, right? But it was purposefully bad. Yeah. What I'm saying is that he produces content that he thinks is good. Mm-hmm. And everyone else watches it. Because it's clickbait. Yeah. Now, I don't know about you, but when, when Spaceballs came out, everyone hated it. Yeah, I mean, I actually, I don't know about that. I haven't... Well, I love Spaceballs. I love it too. I think it became a cult classic over time. Okay, no, no, here we go, here we go, here we go. What I'm trying to say is that he is purposefully bad. Uh -huh. I guarantee that he knows that he's a bad YouTuber, Oh. but he's still trying to protect himself. I, I hate it. It's the... purposefully bad. Okay, there was there was one point in Mikey Mance's career that I legitimately thought, "Wow, you're just you're literally just trying to do this." Um, he was it was in the middle of his whole Clinton Road thing, and he he actually told people in the comments, "Hey, stop putting the timestamps to where people can actually see what they want to see because you know people may want to see my life, they may want to you know see what I do, so don't don't put that." 
don't put the time step in there. Are you kidding me? He really did that? He really did that. I, I could probably find some footage somewhere, but he really did that. That was... That, that stunt... It just... It makes him seem like even more of a douchebag, in my opinion. He... He clearly just wants people to stay as long as they need to and for him to get as much monetization as they want or as he wants yeah and i mean i can clearly think i think that this guy's videos have been severely dropping in popularity because if you've noticed before like when he used to do all the other stuff like i have noticed this every time he does a clinton road challenge or clinton road thing it gets up to a hundred thousand views but every time he does any other deviant of a video, it gets below 100,000. Yeah, what is the deal with Clinton Road, man? What uh, is the deal with this guy being apparent, Clinton Road? Apparently, he thinks it's the, haunt, the most haunted road in existence. And he harasses this one truck driver for just being a truck driver on that road. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the same truck in every single video. And he harasses him non-stop. It... it amazes me how this truck driver hasn't at least called the cops on them at least once. Jeez, what a fucking pleb, man. Yeah, I know. Content is is the worst. It's it's I just I found it's... I found one of the videos that just made me stop and laugh. 4 weeks ago he posted a video called He begged the devil for his soul back. Devil. Yeah, no, you saw that. Too. <laughs> that that's what I saw. That is, that just makes, I, I don't know, this guy, he clearly just, he gets all caught up in the paranormal, or he just knows that it's all bull and he just wants to mark it off of uh, fear and all that. Yeah. So, I, I, I certainly can say that this guy, if I meet him on the, if I meet him on the road someday, I will physically hurt him. I will throw him in a well. <laughs> little bastard needs to go into a well. Yes, the little bastard needs to go into a well. I, I, I'd wish for this guy to go away. Because this guy clearly does not know how to YouTube. Actually, he kind of does know how to YouTube. Although, his way of YouTubing is wrong. Wrong. I hate the people on YouTube who, who pump out content every single, like hour or something with no actual effort he pumps all this stuff out and he doesn't he has no he puts no heart and soul into it he just puts it out just for the money i i actually like the youtubers who spend hours upon hours upon hours maybe even months making content that people enjoy and those youtubers nowadays are getting the short end of the stick their their hard work is amounting to nothing nowadays all the views and the likes and the subscribers go to all these vlogging channels. And a YouTube revolution needs to happen. We need to get YouTube. we need to get all the content makers back on top and all these vlog channels on the bottom. In fact, you know, I might yeah. I might just do a skit to make fun of uh, vloggers like I'm probably going to make a skit. It's probably going to be at like, the end of the video, but I'm probably going to make a skit just t just rolling on vloggers, you know. See if I can make as much fun as them as I intend to. But anyways, guys, uh that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh you know, Gem here. I might I might leave his channel in the description if you guys like to check it out. But yeah. uh and anyway Anyways, guys, see you later.